This is a quick instruction to the first steps in TrackYouBack. This is the front page and before we get going I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and show you that here is the user agreement and its appendices and here you have some instructions and guides in video format and of course the technical recommendations that you can click to have a look at. But when you have checked these out you start creating an account very easily by just clicking this button and fill in this form. And after reading the user agreement, you click this one and can create an account. After creating an account, you will have a few trial days to test the platform, its tools and its content. Your first steps is to choose either to upload a GEDCOM file or to create an empty tree and start from scratch. You can also subscribe on this same page and buy a subscription. But we always recommend that you try the platform first. If these alternatives are confusing to you, you can expand an explanation here just to read a little bit more about the alternatives. If you choose to upload a GEDCOM file, your existing content will be interpreted by Track you Back and turned into a family tree automatically. If you instead choose to create a new empty tree and start from scratch, you will come to the platform with only one empty anonymous person and start building the tree from there. I will quickly show you what happens when you create a new empty tree. You will immediately enter the platform with just one anonymous person in the center of the screen. If you click this person, you can start editing the person adding symbols or person events or images. You can also add relations if you click this button and start adding parents or partners or children and build your tree from there. If this empty and anonymous tree seem confusing to you, we have in the main menu an orientation menu that you can click and decide what you want to start with. Inside each of these chapters you have textual information and also a few guide videos. If you feel that you have created the wrong kind of tree, you can go up into the settings menu, to the account settings and choose to delete your genealogy contents. It is protected by your password, but if you state your password here, you will empty the tree and get back to the intermediate page where you can choose to upload a GEDCOM or even start another new tree. If you choose to subscribe, you will immediately be directed to the payment service. This is a quick introduction of the first steps and in the next video we will show you how to work with GEDCOM files or to start new trees.